Statistically speaking, you, watching this right now, own an iPhone. That's not just some small inference. Apple has owned the dominant market share in cell phones for well over a decade after all. But whether or not you actually own an iPhone, you more than likely have heard about the text bubble color debate. But even if you haven't or you don't know what it means, let me bring you up to speed. When messaging people on an iPhone, your text bubbles can be one of two colors, blue or green. The blue means that you're messaging someone with an iPhone or similar iOS device. You can see when a message was delivered, when it was read if the recipient has read receipts turned on, and you can send photos and video with no loss in quality. But if the text bubbles are as green as the grass around me, that means you're talking to someone with an Android or otherwise not an iPhone. You can't tell when messages were delivered or read, and there's no chance you can send pictures and video. It'll just turn into a blocky, pixelated mess. You'll probably get more use out of them printing them out and putting them in art gallery, calling it a mosaic. But all of this begs the questions. Why is it like this, and does it have to be like this? Well, the answer to the second question is no, it doesn't. But the why, that's a little bit more complicated. In 1992, the first ever text message was sent and received from two mobile cell phones. That same year, something called SMS was introduced. And although it has gone through some revisions over the years, for the most part, it has been largely unchanged for nearly three decades. And that's because its architecture just can't get any better because of its old design. This 30-year-old technology is being used today by a company that claims to be part of the future. But even on Apple's newest phones, like the iPhone 14 Pro with its dynamic island and car crash detection, even those are still using SMS today. But not because it's the only option, no. Today there exists technology called RCS, or Rich Communication Service, and in layman's terms, it's everything iMessage does, knowing when messages are delivered, and knowing when someone is typing, and crystal clear photos and video, all that great stuff, but it's entirely universal. And it's supported by nearly every major cell phone carrier throughout the entire North American continent. And it's been on every Android phones for the last five years. But on the iPhone, it's the same old, same old. But to me, the most hypocritical part in all of this is the fact that Apple, a company that goes to such extreme lengths to make sure your personal data and privacy are protected at all costs with encryption, two-factor authentication, are using a service that isn't end-to-end -end encrypted, which means that anyone, Apple, your phone carrier, even the government, can see what you're receiving and sending through SMS without your permission either. RCS, on the other hand, is end-to-end -end encrypted, which means that sender and receiver are the only ones that can see what's being sent back and forth. No one else can. But as I mentioned before, Apple has yet to add the new RCS feature to any of their new phones. And in fact, according to CEO Tim Cook, quote, we have no plans to add the feature to any of our products anytime in the near future. So there you have it. No RCS on the iPhones as of yet back to the studio.